in the pond going up. What's going on guys? It's Tyler Jackson, aka The Pig Duster. I already know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking like, dude, where in the hell have you been at the last few months? And I mean, honestly, I've been thinking that about myself as well. So first off, I want to apologize for the um, recent amount of inactivity over the last few months. Um, so this video actually is going to be a summary or an overlook of the whole season that I've had fishing wise. Um, I'm pretty much done with pay laking. Um, I might go one last time somewhere and try to get one more video out, but for now, I'm pretty much done. But there are a few things I want to talk to you guys about, and then also some special footage at the end, so let's get into it. Okay, so let's back up to the middle of the season. So the last video that I actually posted was the Raccoon Ridge video. Guys, I had 6.4k views on that. I literally can't believe it. I want to thank you so much for that and all your support. Now, the video after that was some underwater footage that I had of some bluegill swimming around a big glop of night crawlers. So I bought this device that actually records underwater. I'm not going to come out and say exactly what the brand is or anything because I still have some great ideas for this device. I just have to figure it out. So the first thing I actually planned was getting this device, setting it up under a bobber to where it looks straight down the line at the bait. I mean, wouldn't that be so awesome? Like, who could imagine, you know, your bait just sitting there and all of a sudden a big shovel head coming up and hitting it? Because everybody wants to know what happens under the water. Nobody really knows. So I thought this is the perfect opportunity and I'm going to try to figure it out. So hopefully next year I'll have this rigged up the way I want and we'll actually have some great footage. And then once I get that, I guarantee you guys will be really impressed. Now, on to the next thing about this video. So the last two videos I posted, right after that, I decided to go to a few more pay lakes and just wasn't having very much luck. I mean, and I went to some really good pay lakes where people were burning fish up left and right, right next to me, and I just couldn't catch anything. I mean, it was so bad. Um, but, you know, the reason why I'm bringing that up is because it really killed my confidence on going so much. Um, you know, as you saw at the beginning of the season, I was fishing all the time. And uh, I was having so much luck, but uh, any other times that I went, I just wasn't having very much luck and I didn't have enough footage to put a full video together. So I just want you guys to understand that, uh, you know, at being a fisherman and stuff and trying to put all of this, you know, film together, I want to have some good content to give to you guys. I mean, I mean, that's just the biggest thing and it's important to me to give good content to uh, my viewers. Now, uh, I went on vacation um, at the end of June. I went to Anna Maria Island in Florida, um, which was really nice. Um, but the night before... Um, I actually went to Willard's Pay Lake uh, right outside of Hillsborough, Ohio on Route 50 and uh, it was probably 3 o'clock in the morning and I was fishing, I mean, a huge crappie head, like this big. I mean, it was huge. Um, and all of a sudden my float smokes and uh, um, the outlaw tournament just ended. Um, so I set the hook on this fish and I mean, I rear back and it's just dead weight. I mean, it was a decent fish. Um, so we rode it in and netted it and uh, it was a 35-2 um, shovel head. I mean, he smoked my float. So, I mean, I was so happy. I mean, I was teasing. Like, look, I'm going to attach this photo over here. Look at this. I mean, I was teasing. I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, I caught. that's the last biggest fish that I caught that was actually decent, um, you know, throughout the year. Um, but I did end up going a few other times. But there's actually one thing I want to show you that's coming up here shortly that I think you guys would be really impressed about. So, on to my next point. So, as pay lakers, we always get a lot of crap about not being able to catch fish outside of a pay lake. Like, people are like, oh, I bet you can't catch fish out of the river or out of a creek. You guys have no skill. You can't do shit. And I'm like, okay, bet. So, um, I decided to take a vacation um, towards the end of uh, July uh, to Tennessee. And we fished the Tennessee River. Uh, me and my cousin Matt and DeAndre. You guys are familiar with DeAndre and Matt uh, O'Laker. Um, so we decided to take a trip down there, and we got this real nice lake house, I mean, right on the side of the Tennessee River. Um, so here's some pictures on the left side there to show you exactly what um, I'm talking about. Beautiful scenery. It was awesome, okay? So we get down there, and, uh, I mean, we fished for two days straight. It didn't catch a single thing. I mean, didn't catch, didn't even have a bite. I mean, it was, it was pretty rough. Um, and so last night before we had to head home, um, it was probably about 1 o'clock in the morning, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> It, the bite just picked up. Um, so I was fishing with big bluegill head. Um, you know, I cast it out there. So I caught a nice little 15, 20 pound fish. You can see right here on the left side. Decent, wasn't huge. So, you know, we, we net it and I put it back in the water. I rebate and I go and cast right back out there. Two minutes tops, my clicker's screaming again. And uh, I set the hook on this one. And I can tell it's definitely bigger 
um, <laughs> than the first one I caught. And it actually ended up being like a 25, 30 pound shovel head. So, I mean, the bite was really picking up and it was on fire. I mean, it was getting to the point where we were getting excited. Um, so, you know, we fished for another 20 minutes or so and then this thunderstorm rolled in um, and it was pretty hefty and um, it stormed the rest of the night so we couldn't fish anymore, um, which really sucked. But I mean, down there in Tennessee, guys, the, I mean, that's real, you know, catfishing. Um, for blues and shovels, I mean, there's some monsters down there. So, um, middle finger to all you uh, people out there who said that we can't catch fish in the rivers because we can. Um, but I just wanted to point that out. But I just hope you guys enjoyed this year um, in general. Um, now, I want to talk about something else as well. We're going to be uploading some hunting um, footage coming up uh, this year as well. So if you if you're interested in that, stay tuned, stay subscribed. You know, keep viewing um, all the videos. And uh, I promise you guys uh, we'll upload some great content and we have some great ideas coming up. Um, but yeah, enjoy this extra footage at the end that I put together for you guys. And I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. Peace. Fish on my skin. <laughs> <laughs> You're landing. He's in the He's anchor. In the anchor. <gasps> <laughs> it's in the fucking grill! Straight smoke! Straight smoking! Smoking, bud! Smoke!